Hello everyone, I'm Mizo Trooper and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install a bunch of really, really cool plugins to get LSVDFR. This is going to be a tutorial on how to install pretty much every plugin. Every plugin will work the exact same way on LSVDFR. Do excuse me if my voice sounds a little bit weird. I have just pretty much almost recovered from like a really bad flu or something. I caught it the other day and it hit really hard, which is why I took a little bit longer than expected to come back from my break. So I do apologize if I sound a bit weird or a bit more just dumb than usual but i will or should be better by the next video but the first thing you guys want to do is click the first download link down in the description below that's going to bring guys right here to stop the ped this is a really really useful mod and probably a necessity when it comes to lsvdfr it replaces the basic interaction menu with peds or players or ais whatever you want to call them in the game and it replaces them with this little menu here it's really really simple to install and like I said, this is pretty much how to install all plugins to LS VDFR because they're all going to be exactly the same. So once you've done this, you should be able to, without me showing you in theory, be able to do the next few plugins. But you can always stick through the rest of the video if you guys do want to see what plugins I have to recommend or you want to double check on how to install them. But hit download and it might redirect you to a little ad first. Sometimes the website likes to do that unless you have an ad blocker like I do. But it's all good open up the download and once you guys have done that you should go inside the stop the fed folder stop the ped folder excuse me and you should be able to see i got a thousand emails coming through you should be able to see that you're going to have a plugins and a rage native ui to install this you want to open up your file explorer go to wherever your gta 5 is installed now for those of you guys on epic games and rockstar games your gta 5 main directory will be down in the description below but for those of you guys on Steam, I'm going to show you guys how to get to that right now. Go to whatever drive your Steam is on. Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. And go to GTA 5 folder. However, mine is in a custom directory over here. And what you guys are going to want to do is literally grab both these files here and drag and drop them into your game. Now keep your directory open. And we're going to install the next one. So hit the next download link down in the description below. This is Ultimate Backup. This is a way to request backup that is way, way better than the original LSPDFR backup menu. You can also get police buddies. You can also perform CPR from an ambulance unit. And you can change the way that the units will respond to your callout. You can head down here and click download the file. It's the exact same website by the exact same guy. Open that one up. Grab your GTA 5 folder again. And very simply, the exact same files, drag and drop them into your game, making sure you don't put it into any folder by accident. For me, it's going to ask to replace it, and for you it should as well. There's a couple of files it does replace with the basic LSPDFR mod. If it doesn't, that's all right. Just replace it. If it doesn't ask you to replace it, then just leave it and drag and drop it in. Then the next one is another Bajojo mod. Hit the next and link down in the description below. That'll bring you guys right here. This is Compulite. This is a system where you can go inside and you can pretty much create citations and arrest report and see the previous citation records. It's kind of like an MDT, but a little bit more kind of game orientated. And it's very, very similar to the sort of stuff that they have on 5M. If you ever watched 5M or played 5M, hit save. And literally it's the exact same way of installing it. Open it on up inside the Compulite folder and drag and drop the files into your game. Replace Rage Native UI. You don't always have to drag and drop Rage Native UI. You can always just select plugins if you've already done a up-to-date Rage Native UI install. So you can always stop drag and dropping that. But if you do replace Rage Native UI and it does tell you you need a newer version, then you can just download the newest version of Rage Native UI on its own by searching Rage Native UI on the internet. The first thing that comes up will be the correct file to install. And then the last one, this is not a Bajojo mod. Hit the last and the link down in the description below. This will bring you to the world-renowned LSPDFR website or lcpdfr.com. This is Cop Holster. This is probably one of the coolest things. Or one of the like, this little, it's a really little thing that really makes a big difference in your LSPDFR. It's basically a plugin for Rich Plugin Hook and LSPDFR or GTA 5 in general, which is literally a simple feature that allows you to put your hand on your holster which is really, really cool. And it's something you see people do quite a lot in 5M and in real life. So if you go to track and stop, you can uh, put a little, you can put your hand on the holster or the gun so you're ready just in case they do try to shoot at you. 
and also it makes it so that when you pull your gun out the holster it disappears from the holster and then when you put it back in it puts the gun back in the holster i'm pretty sure the game does that by default with the latest lspfr but it does not work on all the belts but this one does so it's really really cool and it's a really neat little feature hit down on this file green download click here to speed it up a little bit save it open it on up this one is pretty much exactly the same minus the Razer native ui install this all you guys are going to want to do is just drag and drop this plugins folder just like that and now if you go into plugins and you go into your lspdfr file this will be where your stop prepared and ultimate backup and compulite will be and over here since this is a standalone rage plugin hook plugin this will be over here and you guys know how to start that up you double click on rage plugin hook file exe double click on it like so hit your settings wait for the little rage plugin hook settings menu to open up and once that's opened up go to plugins load these plugins on startup select a cop holster and then save and launch but since i don't want to save and launch i'm not going to do that because i'm a little bit ill i'm not going to bother hopping in game today but it's very very simple to see what the keys are you can go into plugins and you can go into lspfr for compulite you can click on configuration settings and you can open it with notepad or notepad plus plus or anything to view words and here you can check all the key bindings and you can also do the exact same thing with all of the other .ini files. The .ini files are configuration settings, and that is basically where you can mess around with the settings of the files. So if I go back into here again, you can see that it's, you can change the currency, you can change it to pounds and things like that, and you can change the death penalty probability, and it pretty much explains all of them here. And most of the time, it's either naming a key or just putting true or false. So it's pretty simple, and you do that with all plugins. All plugins or most plugins should have a configuration settings file. If they don't, it doesn't matter. They should still work. But not all like mod producers actually put a config file if there's not a need to. But most do give a little bit of options so you can mess around with the game. But other than that, I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you do want to support the channel a little bit further, then be sure to check out the join button, which is the membership button. And you can join the channel from as little as 99p a month. And you can get early access to all of my content. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I do apologize if I seem a little bit short of breath. That's as I am. I do apologize if I do sound a little bit weird. And I'm failing to pronounce words. That's as I'm still pretty ill. But I hate needed to get a video out so I'm not broke. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video even. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers and goodbye.